Hey guys, Mechanic TG here, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Today is part two of the Bentley Continental build. So, first off, what we are going to do is we are going to take this engine from the stand, which I don't even know how much horsepower it has in it, but it must have a lot. Um, so, we've made sure to put uh, every single part that can be upgraded to a performance part has been upgraded. Um, that is not the welder. Uh, we need this, definitely, um, because we need to make sure the interior is up to scratch. There we go. And here is the welder. Going to move that to here. Okay, we still have to replace all the body parts, though. Okay, that's not as good. Right, we're also going to try putting custom number plates on. I think that would be a good idea. Alright, let's take all these body parts off. I thought we could just use the welder and it would fix everything. Apparently not. So, I mean, we learn from mistakes. It's not a problem. Right, so first of all, we're going to install all of the running gear back into the car. If you guys haven't checked out the last episode, I will have linked a card at the top of the screen already for you. Um, right. So first of all, what I want to do is just make sure we have enough bushings, because we will go through loads of those. There we go. We've got loads of bushings, so we shouldn't have too much of a problem. Here we go. Right, first rubber bushing is in. Ah, tie rods. Right, let's go suspension. So we need inner tie rods and outer tie rods for the front of the car. Uh, so both steering knuckles got repaired successfully, which is nice to see. Uh, bottom suspension arms are looking very good. I don't know what's going on with my voice today. I've recorded all three of these Bentley uh, DLC videos today. And my voice has just been really bad. Uh, here we go. Let's install that. Um, is this full condition? Ah, so we did repair the front air suspension and that. That's nice. Um, so we need vent ventilated brake discs. I can't speak. Uh, two of those. Uh, we're definitely going to need four of those. And I think it's an extra. Actually, no. Brake calipers get repaired. So, I mean, we're on sandbox. So it's not like we're wasting money. But uh, it would have been decent not to actually need to buy those. Because I didn't. Um, suspension. Let's go all the way to the bottom. Probably need four of those. Um, in this build. Yeah. All the brakes. Oh! Wait. These brakes have two brake cylinders in them. Oh, that's interesting. Because now, if they do that, if they do the Bugatti DLC, because I know the Bugatti brakes have four brake cylinders in them. Obviously, they have two smaller ones and two bigger ones, but they have four brake cylinders in, which is a pretty amazing thing. Um, front exhaust sections, we can get those in. Those are also performance parts, which is very nice indeed. We'll get this front exhaust section in. Um, can we actually get the large intercooler in while we're here? There we go. We'll do that. Oh, no. Right, bottom suspension arm. Let's get that in.
Out of tie rods. In they go. Wheel hubs. Wheel hub bearings. We've got to get those done. There we go. Brake caliper cylinders. Nicely done. Uh, oh, one thing we haven't done is the front sway bar. So we need a front sway bar and we need two of these sway bar links. I don't know which one we're going to need though. So might as well get both while we're at it. Alright, let's make sure all of these rubber bushings are in. Uh, we need to go all the way back here. To sort out the front end sway bar. And we're also missing a rubber bush in here. Nearly could have forgotten that. Right, so by the looks of it, that is the front end of the car completed. Let's go across to here. Gearbox. Cancel that because we can get a performance gearbox for this one. Uh, so we're looking for a W12. Where are you? Do I really have to search this up? There we go. W12. I couldn't see it. I couldn't see the W. I was going crazy. Right, in you go. Let's put the starter motor in. Nicely done. I don't think you can get performance transfer cases, can you? Right, so we need catalytic converters, middle mufflers and rear mufflers W12. So we need two of these. Two of these. And two of those. Right, let's install these. Catal catalytic converter one and two installed. Let's get the middle mufflers in. And then all we need now is our rear mufflers. Here we go. Rear muffler number one and number two. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually take a look for our fuel filters. Uh, da -da -da. Not fuel filter, uh, fuel pump. There we go. And we need a fuel tank. There we go. Right, so we're going to install this fuel tank so it's done and dusted and out of the way. There we go. Right, let's install the drive shaft while we're here. Right, so we need a rear sway bar B. Uh, let's go back to suspension. Here we go. Right, let's go for the right side first. Actually, no, that's the left side of the car, isn't it? Uh, rear suspension arms. Yep. Let's put those in. Uh, rear wheel hub. Yeah, that can go in. Hub bearings and drive axles are in. And the brake discs. Um, are they not ventilated? These are not ventilated brake discs at the rear. That is surprising. Okay, so we've got brake pads and then... Ah, so these are ordinary brake calipers at the back. That is interesting. So we've only got one cylinder for that one, but two for that one. Why? Playway. Why? 
That is a very weird way of doing it, but okay. Uh, so we need uh, sway bar rear end links. None of those are actually repaired when we go to the workbench. So uh, here we go. Rear end links. We'll grab two of those. Get our rear suspension arm in and get the rear sway bar end link. And now we just got a couple of rubber bushings to put in. And then actually we forgot the other side as well. We need to do both sides. Um, so what I'm planning is actually doing really fat tyres on the rear. But the problem with that is going to be we're going to have to have four individual sized rims. So we're going to have to individually work out every single size because we have a left side and a right side. Um, so I'm thinking keeping the fronts at the same, maybe a little bit thicker. Hopefully it should be pretty easy. I mean, I don't want it to be an absolute nightmare that it's like too complicated that I have to pause the video and do it. Because my small brain cannot handle that. Uh, there's actually a rubber bushing missing over here. Completely forgot about it. Uh, rear wheel hub. Let's get this in. And also our bearings. There we go. Brake calipers are in. Got our rear drive axle, and then we've got our right side tyre. Now, what else is missing? Right, let's go sort out tyres. So, what tyres do we have for the Continental? So, for our fronts, we have 275 35 21s. And for our rears, we also have 275 35 21. So we are going to go for a 2853521. Where are they? Bentley. Oh, so we just need 221s for the left and 221s for the right. And then what we can do is get, um, we're going for slicks. Two eight five. Oh, I can't remember the numbers. What's the profile? Two seven five thirty five twenty one. So we're gonna go. Two of those for the fronts, and then for the rears. We're going to go for three two fives or three three fives? I think three two five because that's an extra 50 um, in terms of size. So yeah, that seems pretty good. Right, now we need to make sure we're putting them on the right tyres. So we need a right side with a 325. Take that, put that on there. Then we need a left side with a 325. Take that, and then we also need a right side with a 285, and then we should have a left side left with another 285. Left side, 285, perfect.
Right, so we've got both of the rear ones. So this is the left side. Left side 325, that goes on like that. And we need a right side 325 on here. Perfect. That looks right. The little bit is behind the spoke up there. And on here the little bit is behind the spoke up there. Perfect. That matches up. Uh, let's take that. Balance the last wheel. Uh, we can fit this on now. I just saw the brake just appear out of nowhere. That's a right side tyre. And if we look back here, it should be the same orientation as that one. This can come off here and go onto the front. And that should be everything on the car done for the lifter wise. Problem though, it sticks out of the... No, it doesn't because we haven't got the bodywork on. Ignore me. Right, so we're going to put this back at the entrance so it's out of the way. Um, So first... Oh, crap. I forgot about the design I wanted to do. Hmm... Give me a second, we're going to redo these tyres. Right, so we're back to where we were before, and we have red rims I've just noticed. One of them is metallic. Great. Great, how have I managed that? The rest of them are all matte, and then one colour just stands out, it has to be metallic. That is brilliant. Right, now that tyre has been sorted out, the colour looks much better, matches up with the rest of the car. What we're going to do is we are going to buy one of every single body shop parts. Um, where is it? Body shop. Oh, and it's the first one on the list. Bentley Continental. So we're going to buy one of everything. Make sure that we have enough parts. Continental, Continental. There we go. Right, so we're going to assemble this, rear window, trunk, tail lights, windows, mirrors. Now actually, the colour of the parts that are going on are very similar to the colour that I want to go for. Which is why I had to repaint the wheels, because it would look so much better. Right, so I think that's everything installed. Yep. Uh, so what we now want to do is just go to the plates shop. Uh, so we're going to get a British plate. Uh, Turkey, Spain. Do we not have a Great Britain one? 
Here we go, Great Britain. And we are going to customize it. With the word yeet. Yes, I am immature. Uh, let's put our yeet plate on there. And on the back, we've got another yeet plate. Perfect. Right, we're going to move this now to the paint shop. Uh, let's move you... There we go, paint shop. Right, let's uh, paint you in the colour that I have an idea for. So we're not quite going for matte black, but we're not quite going for matte grey. We're going to go for an in-between. So I'm thinking 12. That's looking very dark grey. Um, there aren't any liveries for this car, because um, there was actually a red stripe that would go on the car, which would look really cool. But obviously we can't do that. But that looks stunning. It does not suit the interior at all. Um, cannot start engine. Hmm, I wonder why. Aha! I know exactly why. We do not have any of the batteries or the brake servos. Let's get this put in then. We'll do it in the paint shop. Why not? Right, so we have no batteries. Let's go grab one of those. And then towards the front of the car, here we go, radiator. And then we need a radiator fan housing. And there we go, that's that done. And that's now, should be able to start. No oil in the engine, yep. I knew as soon as I was about to press that that there was no oil in there. Right, here we go. Fill it up. I can imagine that engine probably takes a lot of oil. Uh, right, let's move it to the dyno. And we're going to actually find... Oh, where's the door? Here's the door. We're going to find out exactly how much horsepower this thing actually produces. Right, let's proceed. So we started with the 633 horsepower engine, which is very powerful. And that's at a low rev as well, low amount of revs. One thousand one hundred twenty-two. Wow. That is crazy. Right, so what we're going to do is we're now going to take this out for a little test drive on the drag strip. Hopefully, we can get a really fast time with it. Uh, where are you? Speed track. We're going to take the Bentley Continental GT. Hopefully, I'm predicting we're going to hit at least 180 miles an hour, which means we will get a 0-300 to time on our screen. If we hit 180 miles an hour. Because the game runs in kilometers an hour for some reason. So. Fingers crossed we can get a really high speed out of this. I don't know why though. Oh, it's a black screen at the moment. You going to load? Here we go. I don't know who decided this would be a good interior color. Oh, and we have grit from the start. Oh, you can hear the turbo whistle. 
Let's go for this camera angle. Look at the colour, though. Oh, there's no one in the car. Ah, uh, that's kind of creepy. I do think we went for maybe two fatter tyres at the rear. We actually got a top speed of 329 kilometers an hour, which is approximately 195 miles an hour, roughly, if my maths is correct. Um, so we got a 19 seconds to get to 0, 0 to 300 kilometers, and our 0 to 60 time is 2.3 seconds, or 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. Um, so that is insane. Not to the average speed limit on a British road was 0 0.8 seconds, I think that was. Or 0 0.5, which is 30 miles an hour. Which is your typical British road that you go down that has a speed limit. So, that is pretty interesting, the amount of power that that car has. Absolutely insane. That pulled so quick. Come on, you can load. So, that is gonna do it for today's episode. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, hit that join button, it means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.